Choose life, choose a job, choose a career, choose a family, choose a fucking big television, choose washing machines, cars, compact disc players and electrical tin openers, choose good health, low cholesterol and dental insurance, choose fixed interest, mortgage repayments, choose a starter home, choose your friends. If you're full of life, if you're completely bulletproof, if it's never going to happen to you, if it's all in the future, far, far off in the future, it's nothing to worry about, don't think about it, it will be here sooner than you think. It will be here in the blink of an eye. That life of yours that was going to go forever, it'll be over, make the very, very most of it. But before we start talking about that, Let's talk about what a fabulous planet we live on. We've just been listening to a woodpecker rattling away. Wood, 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 woodpecker, woody woodpecker. We've been listening to him chattering away in the trees to our right. The sun is out. There's a bird in a tree. Sounds like a, a blue tit. Right at the side of me then. Oh, we've just walked out of the shade into the sun. Oh. It is beautiful. It's just so nice to be alive. The countryside around me. Molly, she's a happy girl. She likes this warm weather because it means that her arthritis doesn't play her up as much. It's beautiful. The trees around us, there's not a breath of wind. We're in September coming to end towards the end of this year and God willing, we'll come out again next year. But who knows? And who really cares? Got to live for the day. You don't know what's going to happen. I might get run over by an e-scooter on the way home. There's mist over the hill to my left. The sun is up. It's way above the horizon now, even though it's only about nine in the morning. But there's still mist hanging about in the treetops. And I always speak about spring. The smells of the land in spring. The smells of grass and leaves and just the warmth. Oh, and a deer. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it. There's a deer just come out of the woodland and it's running there. Look at that fabulous little bird. Hey, little white bum. And off it goes into the trees. God, I just can't get over how fabulous life is. I've got to walk up this morning in one of those moods where you know, I've had a couple of days not too good with the old cancer Rooney things, but you don't worry about things like that. They're incidental. I've got up this morning and it's great and I just want to be outside and I'm going to stay outside all day if I possibly can. It's very, very busy because it's the weekend and it's going to get busy, but we know all the secret spots, so we're not bothered. Just get out, please get out in the countryside. Or you sit in front of daytime television at this very moment. What are you doing? Get out. Oh, and what I'm going to talk about today is for the old fogies, for people like me, to try to encourage them to get out. But that doesn't mean it's just for them. Because all you people who are watching it who are younger, you will be here one day, God willing. You will be here, you don't think you will. I never thought I would. I was young, I was bulletproof. <laughs> but here I am, but still loving it and still looking back on happy memories of a happy life, even though I've had disasters, disastrous marriages, losing houses, not got a pot to piss in, no money at all, living in rented accommodation, still happy. And there you go. As the years pass and you find that your old bones creak and you make involuntary noises and involuntary groans when you stand up, when it's easy to sit and turn to the television, when it's easy to put the kettle on again, when you look out of the window when you think it looks so nice out there but you can't quite get that energy to get up and go. It's like, I used to do a lot of running and I always say it's awful getting out of that front door was the hardest part and then once you'd been running with me it was once I'd run about a mile 
and I started sweating and all the endorphins or whatever started rushing round. I got a rush and I loved it and it was fabulous and it's the same thing. When you get out of the front door, it's great. You get in the countryside if you can. If you can't, just get out in the fresh air and walk round. Like I said, it is so good for the soul. It's so much easier to just sit and do nothing. But don't sit and do nothing. I knew an old bloke once. I was I was a landscaper and he used to go around and do his garden on a regular business basis. And he was a, um, a civil servant in Manchester. Beautiful house, beautiful garden. And I used to try to get him out in the garden and say to him, come out and I'd just chat with me. And he'd say, well, no, I don't, I, I, I hate gardening. That's why I've got you in it. And I said, well, just... Make us a brew, come out, have a cup of tea, just start, and he didn't. And then one day, not long after I went, and his next door neighbour came out and said to me, oh, he died. And I was convinced he just sat and died. Don't let that happen to you. I won't let that happen to me. As you get older, and this is to everybody watching this, because you all think you're bulletproof. And you're not, because time will pass and it passes so quickly. You won't believe it. You will get into your 50s and 60s and 70s and you'll still feel 21 up here. Your old bones are creaking. But you find that if you've been active, you can do quite a lot more. I can get out now. I'm 69, nearly 70. I can get out. I could wander about here all day. I don't wander about as fast as I did and don't climb as much as I did. But I can actually get out and I could spend all day in the fresh air and I feel very healthy I can still do all the jobs I need to do at home around the place and everything's unky dory and it is what you need to do as you're getting older don't succumb to age age is nothing age is just time it doesn't do anything age is just memories and experience put it down to that all age is is the accumulation of experiences and memories and that's all it is, and it shouldn't stop you doing anything. It shouldn't stop doing anything at all. Just get out. You will get the benefit. You will find the benefit. You can sit in a house with a lovely view, and you can sit and look out of the window all you want. You can be next in the lake district next to the fells, and you can sit and look over the lakes all day long. But that is only a fraction of the well-being you will feel by actually getting out to those fellows. You don't need to go up them, low level walks, which I do now, but get out, get out in the fresh air. It will make you live longer and that longer life will also be a more enjoyable life. Do it. So don't be listening to the media telling you you're old. Don't be listening to everybody and they keep going on about old people, older people, gotta look after the old people. No, piss off. You don't have to look after us. Look after those of us who are ailing. But the rest of us, please leave us alone. Don't try to dictate what we do. We're okay. I'll tell you what, we've got a damn sight ex more experience than you lot. People are going on about old people being fragile and frail and not really knowing much about life. And my, our ex experiences trump yours by many decades. So don't even go there. Don't listen to the media. Don't listen when people say, you're too old, you're too old. How dare you say you're too old? I'll tell you when we're too old, when we feel too old. Until then, we're just another soul on the planet doing whatever we need to do and having a fab time. We're gonna carry on this woodland now and then we're gonna sit down because Molly likes sitting down and watching the world go by and then we'll get up and we'll walk again because it is such an absolutely stunningly beautiful, quiet, still bird song. I could just stand here and look through the trees at the treetops because there's so many different trees, so many different colours, all backed by a beautiful duck egg blue sky. Have a good day, you all. And remember, you of my age, get out and enjoy yourselves. Get out. You'll love it. Maybe a new lease of life. You may get addicted. And that'll be good, won't it? Have a great day, everybody. Peace and love. See you on the flip.